So welcome uh, to this class. As promised in the previous uh, class, we are going to derive the equation of a hyperbola whose transverse axis is uh, the y-axis and the center is uh, zero, zero. So our uh, derivation, so this is uh, P or number two, our equation of a hyperbola uh, center origin and transverse axis uh, the y axis. So uh, consider consider the hyperbola uh, given below or done below. So uh, let this be a y-axis. Uh, this be our x axis and then uh, so label this as y so let this to be the arms of the hyperbola uh, let this be the other arm so this is the center zero zero and then this is the vertex. So let's have another focus, uh, focus here, another one here. And then this another vertex. So call this one uh, F1, call this one V1, call this one V2, call this one F2. And as usual, the distance from the center to the vertex is a units. So therefore the coordinates of this one will be <coughs> zero comma a. Uh, this would be zero comma negative a. And distance from the center to the foci or the focus is uh, c units. So this will be zero comma c. And then this other one will be zero comma minus c. And uh, let's pick our point, our general point on, on the hyperbola, say uh, P to be at this point. So let this be our general point P on the hyperbola. And from definition, uh, then a hyperbola is defined as uh, the set of all points in the plane such that the difference between the distances from uh, this point P to the two fixed points called the four side is a constant. So uh, if this our P join it to this uh, this first focus and then join it to this. So then you say from definition a distance from F Two to p minus distance from f one to p. This must always give us a constant. So this by definition. But we have already in the first in the previous class we uh, we we saw how we find. Uh, the, this value of constant, so we are not going to repeat. Uh, we know the value is plus or minus 2a. So i.e. Uh, f2p minus f1p equals to plus or minus 2a. And f2 has coordinates 0, comma, minus c. f1 has coordinates 0, c. 
and P has coordinates X comma Y. So with this one, it's very easy to define uh, this to find the distances because we know how to find distance between two points in the plane. So uh, using distance formula, if we call this one equation one, uh, equation one becomes, uh, so F2P, so we have square root X, uh, minus zero squared plus y minus minus c so plus c squared minus square root this other one would be x minus zero squared plus y minus c squared this will give us plus or minus two a so this just using this as formula in this first equation to simplify this, uh, we, uh, we take this term to the right-hand side. So IE uh, square root X squared plus Y plus C squared equals to square root X squared plus Y minus C squared, uh, then plus or minus 2A. And then you say squaring both sides uh, squaring both sides, uh, we get x squared plus y plus c squared. So remember when you square this one, then you move the square root sign. And then equals to now, this one is like we have a plus or minus b squared which will be given by a squared plus b squared plus or minus two a b. So our a is this square root term, our b is this uh, two a, and therefore when you apply this one, the square of this one will give us x squared plus y minus c squared, and then plus our b is two a, so when you square two a, you get four a squared, and then plus or minus, so in multiply two times this term times this other term, we get 4a square root x squared plus y minus c squared. Now let's expand this. We have x squared plus y squared plus c squared plus 2cy equals to x squared plus y squared plus c squared minus two CY plus four A squared plus or minus four A square root of X squared plus Y minus C squared. So by expanding uh, this step, some terms will cancel out. So let's cross them. So X squared and X squared, Y squared and Y squared, C squared and uh, C squared, and so we have two C Y and then minus two C. So you don't cross in this one and this one because they have opposite signs. So taking this one to the left, we'll have two C Y plus two C Y. So we have four C Y equals to four A squared plus or minus four A square root of X squared plus Y minus C squared. Now uh, you can divide through by four because each term has four. So divide by four, divide by four, divide by four. So this gives uh, this gives us CY equals to A squared plus or minus A square root of X squared plus C minus Y minus C squared. Remember our objective is to do away the square root sign. So for, for us to do that one easily, take this term to the left so that we have C Y minus A squared equals to plus or minus A square root of X squared plus Y minus C squared. 
And so uh, squaring both sides, uh, we get, so uh, CY minus A squared squared. Now when you square plus or minus, you just get plus. I remember this is a, this is like we have X, Y, this power N, which is X power N, Y power N. So therefore we'll have A squared. And then when you square this alone, you just get what you say inside the square root sign. So into X squared plus Y minus C squared. This one will give us C squared, Y squared plus, so A squared is A power four minus two C A squared Y equals to A squared into X squared plus Y squared plus C squared expanding this minus two C Y. So we have C squared Y squared plus A power four minus two C A squared Y equals to A squared X squared plus A squared Y squared plus A squared C squared minus two C A squared Y. So just opening the brackets here. And by doing this step, some terms will cancel out. You see, this term and this term are the same and have the same sign on either side, so they cross out. So uh, this gives us c squared y squared plus a power four equals to a squared x squared plus a squared y squared plus a squared c squared. And just as we did in the previous class, we collect all terms with x's and y's to the left and then take those without x and y to the right. So uh, i.e. we'll have c squared y squared, and then I bring this one to the left minus a squared y squared, and then this will be minus a squared x squared equals two a squared c squared, and then this will be minus a power four. And we do some factorization. You see for these first two terms, y squared is common. So you say c squared minus a squared, uh, y squared minus a squared, x squared equals two. Also a squared here is common. So a squared into c squared minus a squared. And because c is greater than a, so c squared minus a squared is a positive value. So you can just say, uh, let b squared be this difference, c squared minus a squared. Uh, then this will be b squared, y squared minus a squared, x squared equals to a squared and then b squared. And then divide through by a squared, b squared. So divide here by a squared, b squared, a squared, b squared, a squared, b squared. Uh, this will give us, so this and this cancels, this and this cancels. This is one, this is one. So we have y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals to one. And actually this is the equation that uh, we wanted. So, and always remember that C is greater than A, C is greater than A, and B squared is given by C squared minus A squared. So uh, this is the equation of a hyperbola. Uh, whose center is at the origin zero, zero and transverse axis uh, the y axis.
So that's how we derive the equation of hyperbola with center zero zero and transverse axis, the y axis. So thank you.